Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to do a Pythagorean check for right triangles. In other words, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to check if triangles are right triangles. First off, let's give a quick, um, quick overview of what the Pythagorean theorem is. Um, it's oftentimes written as this a squared plus b squared equals c squared when you're given a triangle like this. So for example, if I had a triangle that was um, 3, 4, 5, then I would plug in my values of 3, 4, and 5 into this equation for a, b, and c. Now with this, and I'm going to mention this again later, the longest side of the triangle is the one that's opposite the right angle. It's called the hypotenuse of the triangle, and it is always the longest number. So when you're adding two things together to get that one, it will always be the one that is you add up to get that one, all right? Because it's the longest one. Makes sense. You add the two smaller sides to get the larger side. All right, so let's go ahead and do some quick squaring. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. When we add them together, it is true, 25 is equal to 25. Um, one common picture that, that's used to show this is when you put the squares on here. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of a funny looking triangle now, but um, this is 4, and this is 3, and this is 5, and you notice that 4 squared is 16, 3 squared gives us the 9, and then the 5 squared would give us 25. It's a visual way of showing that this does work. Um, but it's also kind of a funny looking triangle. So let's talk about the Pythagorean theorem. The longest side of the triangle is the C value, the hypotenuse. It always has to be the C value. That's really important. The order that you add the other two does not matter. The C value does matter. Make sure that that C value is the largest side. It only works on right angle triangles, therefore it can be used to check if a triangle is a right angle triangle. And that's what we're going to do with our lesson today. Here's our question. If a triangle has a side length of 6, 7, and 8 centimeters, is it a right angle triangle? Well, um, I can plug in 6, 7, and 8 into my equation and solve. Notice the 8 is the C value. You always have the la largest value as the C value. 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, and they don't add up. The left side is equal to 85, the right side is 64. Therefore, this is not a right angle triangle. It doesn't work. That often will happen. All right. Let's try another one. Um, if a triangle has a side length of 13, 5, and 12 centimeters, is it a right angle triangle? With this one, I change the order of the numbers. Again, it doesn't matter which one is the 5 and the 12. What's really important is that our C value is the largest value. So 13 is our largest value. Let's go ahead and square those numbers. 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, and 13 squared is 169. And they add up to be equal on both sides. Therefore, this is a right angle triangle. All right, that's pretty nice. Is this a right triangle? In this one, we're given a picture of a triangle. It looks like a right angle triangle, but we need to be careful when we're looking at a triangle, it might be not quite, if it's not marked as 90 degrees, maybe it could be 89 degrees or 91 degrees. So let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem to go ahead and solve. 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. 36 plus 64 equals 100. That is true. So therefore, this is a right angle triangle. So you can be given the side lengths in a word form. You can be given the side lengths using a picture. Don't trust the pictures to make your decision. And let's look at one more question together. If a triangle has a side length of 23 centimeters, 4 centimeters, and 5 centimeters, is it a right angle triangle? Now, this is a special situation where we don't have to do any math at all. Can you think about why we wouldn't need to do math on this one? 
It's because this actually isn't even a triangle. Think about it, and I'll draw a picture of it. If the longest length, 23 centimeters, is longer than the other two added together, then they'll never reach each other. So like this one's four and this one's five and the total length of that one's 23. It's never going to be able to make a triangle. So um, this is not a right angle triangle. It's not actually not even a triangle at all. So keep your eyes open for that. We could substitute these values into this equation and you would also find that it is not a right angle triangle. Here's our Common Core Anchor and PA eligible content. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.